yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. It's made me feel really tired. Um, many of you might have seen one of my previous videos where I've got a few things going on with my server. One of them is that one of the SSDs has, has effectively died. The SSD itself is fine. What's happening is that the, the SATA port is working its way loose. So every now and then it just sort of, and the system doesn't see it anymore. So we've bought a new pair of SSDs to replace that one and the other one, and then we can repurpose the one that's still working. However, I suspect that that will go the same way at some point. I guess it's a design flaw. Unless we've just been really unlucky and it's just one, one drive that's done that. I guess we'll find out. So I've found myself with a need for a custom ISO, which I've started building, and I'm just going to run through how I did it. So stick around. What I had was a document, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a, a web page from Dan Langill, and I can't find it now. It doesn't seem to be in my history, which is really strange. Anyway, essentially what I had to do was just CD into user source release, and then I did a, a make release. It's running at the moment, so I can't. And the name of the of the image that I wanted to call it, which is really annoying. Yeah, it was basically CD into user source release, make release, and the name. And there was a um, there was a script in there that does it all for you. But I just I just edited this just slightly. And then it does it all in ch root dirt or scratch, which is fine. That's where it will do it. Checks out the ports, checks out the source and the name of the kernel. Now I have got the name of the kernel there because I've got a custom kernel config in my user source sys amd64 conf directory, but I don't know if it's going to use that or not. Hopefully it will. If not, I'll see errors when it's building. And then I just ran that command, which was like I said, make release and the name of the file. And hopefully, hopefully it will make all of the bits that I want it to make. And then once that's done, I'll just do it with the make ISO, which is not in there. It's in the scripts or tools folder. It must be in the scripts folder. Or maybe not that doll. Yeah. So then I'd go into MD64 and then there's the make ISO images. So it's currently making the mem stick, which is fine. I can use that. Not a problem. But really what I want to use is an ISO and, and use that instead. Once it's finished, I'll put it onto the end of this video and see how it goes. So currently it's, it's building Clang, which I'm assuming this is essentially like doing a make build world or make install world. I'm not sure what part it's at. Looks like building rather than anything else. Yeah, build world by the looks of it. So this is either going to be a, a two part video or I tack it on the end. I'm not actually sure where it's going to end up just yet. We shall see. We shall see. If I find that that web page, I'll also put that in the description because that's the one I'm using. And, and for the life of me, I can't find it now, which is just so... But yeah, so let's have a quick look in Scratch, shall we? See what it's doing. Yeah, it's building world, isn't it? So that's checked out the ports and source, actually. It's front of source. Yeah, there's a git. So it's checked out the source. That's fine. It's going to temp. I'm assuming there's an OBJ. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. It's building it. So that's exactly what I would expect to see. Now, if I go into this, so I've got a funny feeling this isn't going to be done by the time I need to go in, which is fine. doesn't matter. But yeah, so that's what it's doing then. So let's have a quick look at the release.com file while we're here. Yeah, it's doing it all in the ch root directory. Now, if I'd have actually set that to the user object, I wonder if it would have just rebuilt it or if it had just gone, oh, there's stuff there. That would have been interesting to do. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The branch that I'm using, port branch, the git command, which, yeah, kernel. I got a kernel stuck in my teeth. Kernel, kernel stuck in my teeth. I could have done a generic kernel. In fact, I probably should have done. Anyway, uh, yeah. So nothing really major in here. Yeah. I mean, it's doing exactly what I would expect it to do. It'll be interesting to see if this completes before I go and it's not going to. It's not going to complete in 50 minutes. 
So I might as well cancel that, see what it was I ran. Yeah, so it's just making a dot .image. So release.sh, memstick. Actually, let's have a look at release.sh. So I want to see what other targets there are. So there's, let's have a quick look. What was it I used? Memstick. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that is interesting. All right. Meh. Why? If that isn't there, I wonder if there's a, is there a man page for that? Be interesting to see. Yeah. 2019, 12 stable. That's a bit more newer than what I was reading from. So I could have done that. I wonder if I could just do that. See what happens if I do that. So instead of using the release, just make memstick. Ugh. So this is quite a, an interesting subject to get into, and it's one that I really want to look at. And where did it fail? Interesting. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go through this. I mean, at the moment, it's not a huge deal because I think that it's going to just work. Now, if I need to build a USB stick, then so be it. I'll just download a a generic one. A 14 state, well, 14 release should be all right. And go from there. What do you think, guys? Uh, is it worth exploring that a bit more when I've got freshly checked out and built Build World? Yeah. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> I was really hoping that would work. Once I've replaced that disc, maybe it will. I don't know. It should do. Do it properly from the start. Tune in to see what happens next. I'll, um, I'll make a quick video on the, the results of what I find and get it uploaded as soon as I've actually done it, once I've done the discs. Take care, see you in the next video.